I want to move on to a question quickly. I, I, I want to also get give us time uh, to come to, to to talk about a few other points. But I want to. This one's very interesting to me as well, and I think it's a very important point to address. I've got four years to retirement. At what point should I move to a life stage growth portfolio? And this is questions again. You have to decide what you're going to do at retirement. Liesl, do you want to take that one? So maybe I should just explain what a life growth, life stage growth portfolio is. That means that you start exiting equities more towards cash because the idea is that at retirement you're going to purchase um, an annuity. Right, Lisa. Um, so, so Tracy, actually, um, I, I think uh, maybe you want to uh, jump in here, and then I'll just I'll add from my side. Okay. So. Underlying those two annuities, we spoke a little bit about interest rates. So if you're going to go into the life annuity, that insurance product where you hand over your, your money to the insurer, as you said, they go and basically buy these long, long-term bonds. That's why I said there's a difference in these interest rates. So actually, if you know you're going to go into life annuity and you should start making this decision, you know, if you're four years out, it's quite important. You, it's it's fine to be life staging because you're moving towards cash or you could move in towards something that has more interest earning investments. Ideally, you want longer dated bonds if possible. If, however, you're going to keep your money invested, meaning you're going into a living annuity product where effectively you're a long term investor, you could have 20, 30 years that you're going to live in retirement, then you don't really want to be life staging. Um, because what you're going to do is you're going to move more and more money into cash and then you're going to retire and you're going to take some of that cash and you're going to reinvest it. So you're exposing yourself to unnecessary market movements. What I always say though, there's a difference between the theory and the practice. So that's the theory. But in practice, what I've seen with people, even people who are going to still keep their money invested in a living annuity, when markets dip, when COVID happens, when things like this happen and they're close to retirement, the anxiety levels are a lot higher. And so then sometimes staying in the markets, I've got all this money, I've lost 30% of my entire life savings like you did in March this year, and you freak out and you switch and you change and you miss that recovery like we saw now. So I think it's also about knowing mm. yourself. There's the theory, but then know how you will respond and question yourself. Work it out. Take a third of your funds minus that and say, what would you do?